everyone, this is Christian Duke, and you're watching Strength Addicts right here on IG Live, brought to you courtesy of BlackstoneLabs.com, the holy grail of bodybuilding supplements. If you're looking to get involved in the fitness industry, there is no better way to do so than by applying to join the Blackstone Labs Legion today. Also, big thank you to our supporting sponsor, TitanMedicalCenter.com, for all your TRT, medical weight loss, glutathione, ECA stacks, and so much more. So guys, today I'm super, super excited to have not one, but two awesome guests. They've been using Blackstone Labs products for over half a decade, and they're very, very important to the Blackstone Labs family. So I'm super, super excited to have them on Big thank you to my man, Jared, for setting up the interview. Jared Brown, call center manager, knows every single member of the Legion on a first name basis. And he's the man to talk to if you want to do an interview here at Strength Addict. So I really, really appreciate everybody that's come out. Uh, what's up to Jared? He's in the house here with the Blackstone Labs Legion page. We got Todrick. We have Omni Muscle. Made to Macro is in the house. One-on-one -on -one Fitness LLC. Veronica and a few others. Thanks guys for coming by. Let me make sure I don't butcher this here. Now, how do I do this? This is always a, a trick for me. Now, do I hit that? I think I hit that. I'm getting better at this. So I'm gonna go to Larry, invite. It's gonna be a great live. There's a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Larry got started in powerlifting. What's up guys? What's going on? Hello. Switch back. How are you? Good. Awesome, awesome. So we've got a lot to talk about. You guys, before anything, built the Blackstone Labs Legion Gym. So let's talk about that. That, that is a, a monumental achievement. I think you did it in like two days, Derek said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish it days. No, no. Uh, we got down there on uh, Friday afternoon, started Friday afternoon, and worked till Tuesday night. Uh, we finished everything. Yeah. That's that was insane. Quite, quite the undertaking. For sure, for sure. But that's going to be like, I mean, I was talking to Jared about it on the phone. And I mean, whoever gets to train there, it's going to be like heaven because that is, you can't get more Blackstone Labs than that. You might have like Joe Reiser, like, you know, shooting it. And it just, I mean, I can just imagine, you know, the photo shoots, maybe orangutan will go in there, just the photo shoots and the videos coming out of that place is going to be just second to none. So oh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was really cool to be part of it. Um, you know, that's the reason we came down and did it, you know, just, you know, something very special has to, you know, help out with a project like this. And, you know, uh, PJ, you know, put together some of the best equipment. I mean, it's a lot of equipment. To see, you know, like you go to different gyms to use just that one piece of, you put it all in one facility. And, it, you know, it's, uh, it's a facility, a lot of stuff in a, yeah. in a small space. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a really cool. Yeah, we were really excited uh, to be a part of it. We were honored that, you know, he asked us. And, you know, it was the biggest five days but it was it was worth it it was worth it definitely it to me it looks a little bit like uh like the uh, manian's gym like the photo gym you know it's a gym that's like specifically for you know limited number of people and it's just going to always be like in tip-top shape you know really really taken care of and like i said the content that's going to come out of there it, it's just going to be second to none it's, it's like, oh, yeah. like anything yeah for sure. So where are you guys from? Because uh, Larry, I, I sense like a New York accent. I might be off, but I, I get like a Northeastern vibe. Are you anywhere yes. from there? I'm from Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The city of brotherly love. Yes. And Vanessa? <laughs> born and raised in Philly. Born and raised in Philly myself. Um, we've been here for like ever already, you know. Very cool. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to West Philly. I think that's where all the Italians are, right? South Philly. South Philly. South Philly. South Philly. South Philly. That's right. South Philly. Not West all, Philly. I don't know who's in West the, Philly. All the really good food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I and I yeah, South Philly. Yeah. There's like the uh there's like a big market there, like an Italian market, I think, like from oh. hundred years ago. And um yeah, and I, I yeah, I, I pass Yonk Avenue, right? Is that, is Got that it. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Pass Yonk Avenue has all your little bistros, tiny cafes, restaurants, bars. You can kinda eat your way through. Um we're always talking about the Reading Terminal Market in Center City. Um, and it's kind of like your little uh, petri dish, different culture, cultural foods that you can eat through there. It's great. Very cool. Very cool. So Larry had sent me some notes before we did the interview. And uh, so Larry, I think your roots are in powerlifting. And then Vanessa, you started in bikini, but I, I think you're moving to figure. Yes. Yes. That is a, uh, what was it? Something I decided only probably about a few weeks ago. 
Um, I actually was, Larry, when we went, was way more into fitness than I was. We actually met um, not even through fitness. We were big partiers at the time. And then eventually we evolved into kind of like our own like little dynamic duo of pushing each other, training with one another. And um, he's taught me a lot more than a lot of people that I've worked out with. And I've slowly just got more and more involved throughout the years. Very cool, very cool. And so Larry, you said that you started powerlifting when you were 16? So I started lifting when I was 16 and then I got into powerlifting when I was in my 20s. Um, you know, did that, you know, competed uh, for a while. And then, um, you know, once we got serious about our fitness, I kind of got more into the nutrition side. Um, and when Vanessa started doing shows, I was like, okay, well, if this is something that, you know, I'd be interested in. You know, I did my first show last year. Um, Sammy is, is our coach, um, so he coached us through everything. And uh, we just had a lot of fun, and, you know, we're looking forward to this year, you know, putting, you know, uh, good, good package together. For sure, for sure. And, and uh, maybe you get some pointers from IFB Pro, Figure Pro, uh, Kira Gana, maybe, possibly, right? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm very excited because it's been such a great help posing uh, for figure. And actually, I find it a lot easier to pose for figure uh, with bikini. I a little bit different and I still have bikini flair. Um, so kind of transitioning out of it is more of a difficult thing, but I really like uh, working with Kiara. She's just been a huge help so far. Yeah, she's been, I mean, she's fantastic. Her physique's fantastic. I mean, she's not, you know, she's not gonna win any height competitions, you know what I mean? But like, she's compact, she's got great symmetry and she poses great. And the thing is, is I, I really like the fact that, you know, she didn't get her pro card like immediately, you know what I mean? Like, you know, COVID, was a nightmare, you know what I mean? Prepping through that is a nightmare. Going to a big stage in Pittsburgh, getting your pro card there. I mean, that's that's a really, really big deal. I, I always have more respect uh, for people that have to, you know, overcome some hurdles. I, I think there's no bigger hurdle than COVID. I mean, and, and I, from what Larry said, I think it kind of threw your competitive plans kind of like in the ringer too, right? Yeah, yeah it was um, it was tough. I actually did a 20 week prep. I was um, prepping for a mini show. Uh, for the Arnold Classic. And I like, I joke, but I still have like, you know, like, like depression and like, you know, like trauma from it because the night before we were to leave to Ohio, um, I, you know, the news that they had shut the expo and there was really no guarantee if, if any of the amateur shows were going to go on. So, you know, when you're as an athlete and, and you're in that zone and you're ready to, you know, to hit the stage after, months and weeks of just prepping it, it was kind of like someone taking the rug and like pulling it right underneath you so it was uh it was a little difficult and a uphill to swallow because i was very um back and forth with my decision making about pulling out and not and not uh competing you know uh, that actually happened to billy too billy gagliardo i mean his entire prep was thrown off and that's the thing i mean promoters really tried to come through you know by you know uh, refunding hotels and you know you know trying to give you guys notice and everything but once you start a prep i mean like what do you suppose you can't you know rewind and you know do that again so you know and again all the more uh, respect to kiara for doing that because a lot of people honestly larry vanessa a lot of people after it happening once and twice they were just like forget 2020 see you next year they weren't going to just keep Reprepping and reprepping and just going through all that and plus we're and I, I know it's not about Kara but just to say also one last thing to get your pro card at a show in a tent I mean that's that's pretty hardcore it was wild it's yeah. really uh, we actually we were actually at that show for another friend of ours who was competing as well and you know we just heard throughout all the athletes how how difficult it was how hot it was and you know and COVID's tough for everybody in all aspects of business and in life you know like we're dealing with something we've with before so i think we're all trying to do our best but i commend her wholeheartedly it was it, i know me mentally it was like a huge huge like you know mind fuck like it was it was really hard there's that's probably the best that's probably the best descriptor right there yeah so with regards to you larry are you you said you just competed what division did you compete in and what show uh so we did uh the classic physique last year um um and then I did the uh, Masters in the Open. I uh, placed second and third. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing <laughs> we found out really quickly, I wasn't meant for classic physique. I was meant for bodybuilding. Um, mm. 
So we're stepping it up a notch this year, and we're, we're going to come to the bodybuilding world. Uh, not sure what weight class we're up in yet, um, you know, but, you know, we've got some shows in mind for this year. And, uh, you know, we've put on a lot of size over these last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, we'll see where it takes us. Looking yeah. for this season. No, definitely, definitely. And I, and I think I, I could see you in bodybuilding as well. I could see Sammy in 212, actually. Yeah. You know, you know, beating 40 guys in Texas is like no small feat, but I could totally see him growing into 212. But yeah. uh, I got to say, though, yeah, bodybuilding, you know, um, I think classic and bodybuilding really are, you know, just really, really uh, cutting edge divisions. I love men's physique. Men's physique is great. You know, there's like a lot of competitors or they have very little stage time. It, it's difficult in its own respects, but you know, um, just your physique, just from the pictures I've seen that you've sent me, I kind of get more of a bodybuilder look from that. Yeah. You know I, mean? I think you'd have to, like, lose quite a bit of muscle to do men's physique and, and maybe even classic. The problem with classic is you're stuck in those in those parameters, you know, your height and your weight, and you, you can't break that. Otherwise, you can't compete. So, yeah, you know, it was, it was something, you know, we, we prepped for the show. Um, you know, uh, Sammy and I, you know, hadn't even met. Everything was through, you know, FaceTime for months and months and months. And then uh, it was two weeks prior, to, uh, we had flown down there to go meet up with him. Uh, it's actually when I met Derek for the first time as well. Yeah. Um, you know, and I got out there. First thing Sammy said was, uh, you're not classic physique, you're men's bodybuilding. And I said, well, we're not changing it now. We're two weeks out. So uh, something we'll work on for this year. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. You know, like when you, when you have a coach and, and everything and you're doing things through FaceTime, there's nothing like you know, being in person and really be the person and study them and everything like that so you know we made it a point to make it down there a lot more and you know really uh hit the ground running so that you know we could see where i was at so definitely and vanessa how long did you compete in bikini though because i know the decision to transition to figure is something recent but you from what i gather you did quite a few bikini shows right so i started bikini and competing back in 2016 and that was like my official show and it just became kind of more addictive every, every year to push myself. I wanted to grow more. I wanted to better myself. And, you know, I, I it's really strange because I'm the type of person, you know, discipline is not always something I had. And um, it, the structure of being on prep and, and mentally preparing yourself and, and having basically your entire, you know, day plan, you know, based around when you're going to work out. Uh, was something that I fell into naturally. And to be honest with you, I, I love bikini because I love like the finesse and sass of it. But, you know, I've learned to listen to my body over the years and my body was just, it was going, it just, I just, we were working out and I was with, um, I was with my girlfriend Veronica and Larry and, you know, we were <laughs> videos of each other while we were working out and I was looking at this one video and I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm heading towards figure. I'm just putting on way too much size and muscle right now for me to even slow down. And even Sammy, who's who's now helping me with this prep as well, he was in his own way, like, you know, putting his feelers out there and being like, don't be afraid to play around with the idea for figure. Obviously, the decision was up to me. And I was just like, you know what? Let's go with it. Because the plan was to kind of switch to wellness because my last show in November... I put on way too much size and Sammy was kind of like, maybe we should try to go um, more into wellness and see how that goes. And then we did like a whole 12 bulk and I was just putting on so much size that I was like, you know what, let's just go right into figure. And that was, that was really made like a month ago. Yeah. And, and you, you really shouldn't be scared to move up, but I will tell you though, doing as much contest coverage as I have and, and the rapport, well, I don't know, rapport, relationship. People say I have a good rapport, but the relationship I have with so many athletes, yeah, that, that's a pretty big jump. Uh, I think probably the biggest jump of all is going from bikini to figure. I don't know why, but there's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of bikini competitors that would like to move up and they have to conscientiously like limit their bodies from growing muscle and they have to limit themselves from training, which they love to do yeah. so they can stay within the parameters of bikini. But I think figure would be a lot bigger if women just took that job. You, you got to do it when you're ready. Though. You got to do it when you're ready. And like, like you said, it's your decision, but I'm glad you did it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, like, like she said, I mean, her body really, you know, did all the work. Her body was just like, no, you're not bikini or your figure. I mean, you know, it was, it, it got to the point where we were, you know, 
literally going to have to cut her training back and stop her from doing what she loved doing because she was just putting on too much size. Right. Um, and at that point, it was like, listen, you know, do you want to listen to your body or do you, you know, cut back and teeny? You know, like, you know, if your body's telling you one thing, you know, follow it, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. And, and the thing is, figure is very, very marketable. And even with the advent of wellness, I think right now, if any division is going to suffer with wellness, it's bikini. But figure is very much, you know, you know, it's very much its own thing. It, it's very, very popular at the local, regional, national and pro levels. I mean, figure has really been, you know, has a lot of staying power, you know. So I think you're going to be very happy there. And you're going to find that there's a lot of competition as well. So that's really good. And for you, Larry, you know, bodybuilding, you know, it's probably like a whole new world for you because now you're not going to be, you know, confined by these weight limits, which, you know, really I, I can imagine probably also are, are a bit of a hindrance to you because if, if you were free to grow as much as you wanted, I mean, who knows how far you get. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we just we just got done a bulk and uh, I put on, you know, pounds, um, clean muscle, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm you know, curious to see where we can put on. Sammy's just been feeding the crap out of me. Um, you know, there's been a lot of food and, you know, just a lot of hard training and stuff like that. But yeah, there's, you know, we're not, we're not putting any limits on anything. We're just, we're just seeing where my body takes it. Let me grow at this point. Definitely. And I've never, I've never, you know, I've been following Sammy now for a few years. I've, I've never seen him like, like blimped out, you know, like Lee Priest back in the day he used to just put on, he, get, he would get up to 300 and something pounds, but then he'd have to lose nearly a hundred. I've never seen Sammy like, you know, like, like really big and fat. So oh, I think, Probably right. giving you a lot of good food, but like you said, it's it's a clean bulk and you're you're gaining lean muscle. So. Oh yeah, no, he. I mean, you know, as far as coaching wise, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better coach. I mean, you know, um, you know, check ins are always, you know, every week, you know, making sure that you know we're putting on quality muscle, not putting on body fat and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously there's a little bit of wiggle room this time around, um, but I mean, he's just been he's been fantastic as a sure that we're doing everything we can do. Um, so that, you know, we're not having to, you know, do this crazy diet. Um, you know, that's not what he's about, you know. And I mean, if you look at him, credit year round, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I never really understood the whole idea of dirty bulking. Vanessa, I don't know if you've ever done it. I mean, I've seen bikini competitors do it, figure competitors do it. It's just, it, it's, it's arguable if you are gaining, like, that much lean muscle mass. It's just, it's. I don't know. Some people just like to be huge, you know what I mean? But I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't know. But with regards to supplements, let's talk a little bit about supplements because you guys have been using BSL supplements for five years, which is a oh, really yeah. long time. Yeah. Um, how do you like, which, which are your favorite supplements? I always I like to ask your top three, but I'm not even going to do that today. Like what, what are your, just your favorite supplements for oh, each of you? Well, glycolog. Number that's, one. That's number one. <laughs> I mean, we live, we live, um, BCAAs. Um, for me right now, it's a lot of creatine, glutamine, um, adrenal care. Um, we do all their proteins, their different kinds of proteins. Um, what else? Uh, we have, oh God. BCAAs. Me personally, I'm big on the proteins. I was using arson religiously. That's my favorite fat burners. Um, and I was doing Harmonize for a while too. That was like one of, one of my favorite products that he put out there because it was specifically geared towards which I thought was pretty cool too. Um, but m m what we've been really um, doing is, is glycolon, BCAAs, have your glutamine, multivitamin. Yeah. Their, whole, their whole new um, vitamin line is really what I use a lot of, um, you know, that new technology, that liposomal technology. Um, mm -hmm. So I switched all my vitamins over to BSL products. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would say number one, glycolog. I yeah. mean, that, you know, as far as, you know, for what we do in the community, world i mean if you're having that high carb meal you got to have that have glycolog it. with you no for sure that's what marathon mom was talking about or yeah like a bunch of people i mean they they swear about it. i love it too and I, I know that uh a few folks are talking about arson also but yeah the core series though i think is what you're talking about the core series have been phenomenal yeah. because i mean you look at like creatine and glutamine and stuff like that uh turmeric also they're not like the super exotic ones like the like the dha pro hormones or you know like euphoria that i love but they're so important, though. And you think about it, like glutamine, they use that in the hospital, you know, for, for post-op surgery patients. So it really does work. And like you said, the liposomal technology is very important because, you know, a lot of people in the industry, they take a lot of supplements from different companies. But in the end, what they really have is really expensive urine, not to be gross, but yeah. Yeah. The, the body doesn't absorb it. So 
to be able to have science-backed supplements, is, I think is really, really important. Um, now, do you guys, and I think you, you may have already answered this question, but do you guys ever do shows together? Like, will you, will you guys both prep for the same show? Oh, last, last year was our first yeah. official prep together. Um, and let me tell you this, if you can make it through prep together a couple, uh, you can make it through anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say it, uh, prep, I know how I am during prep. And, you know, I know, you know, Larry, I'm no walk in the park, okay? Especially like that last like four to six weeks is just like, is really, really hard. Uh, this prep was probably really one of the most difficult because not only do we run our own business, we run our own tra personal training business. And we were also sure that we had to stay true to our schedule and our working out and, and, and everything. So um, it, it was, it, we had to actually scale back a little bit towards the end, but it, it, it was actually, it was really gratifying. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to do. And do you guys, do you guys like, like, do you put, do your cheat meals align so you guys can both have a cheat meal at the same time? Yeah. Or are okay. Yeah. Yeah. We, we try to, we try to there that way, you know, one person's not getting that, uh, you know, that pizza and the other one's just looking at them. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm always like, well, you get, why do you get more than me? Like, I still can't grasp that concept. I'm always like, well, wait a minute. You can have that extra cookie, but I can't, <laughs> you know? <laughs> because so, it's, it's, yeah. so for each of you, what what's the, I guess like what what's the guilty pleasure for each of you like on a prep like what's like the one or two or three whatever you want to say food that you absolutely must have even if you had like let's say Sammy Litch had like one you'd want ten like what's that meal for you or food for you? So I um I'm big I'm big on like burgers pizza and like I love sweets mm -hmm. so you know obviously my Instagram handle dumbbells. I, I love donuts. They are my go-to. And um, anything, anything Reese Cup is, is my go I, uh, I was ice cream. I think I pretty much begged Sammy for ice cream yeah. last year. Um, I just, it's just something I love to have. And, you know, I was, uh, you know, pretty much every week, I'm like, please just give me a bowl of ice cream. That's all <laughs> I want it. That's all I want. For sure. For sure. Okay. So the most important question for both of you, this is like really, really like deep. I want you to really think really long and hard about this. Okay. Genos or pets? Oh, oh neither. 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 Really? Wow. Listen, any, any true Philadelphian, okay, will tell you that neither. Genos and pets, they're cool. It's nice. They're in the hardest South right in the Italian market. But it's, it's for tourists, you know what I mean? I, me personally, there's a small little spot right off of Dell Avenue, um, Shanks. And then I personally like, um, I like, uh, what was it, Jim Steaks, or right off of South Street. You know? Yeah. You're right. It's probably, it probably is for tourists. I never thought of it that way. But that seems to be like, you know, we're talking about uh, Philly cheesesteaks and like, you know, those are like, I guess, the oldest or, or maybe not even the oldest, but those are the ones that people, it's like the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. It's like, it's it's just probably the biggest rivalry there is, I would think. Yeah. But maybe it is just for tourists. I don't know. But um, I mean, they're, they're decent. They're there's, nothing, there's, there's nothing there's nothing wrong, wrong with them. them. But I mean, yeah, they're, they're definitely not the best. Interesting. Interesting. So tell me a one last thing. What What are your goals? I guess, like, what are your goals for 2021. I just got the Moderna vaccine. I don't know if you guys have had it, but hopefully with all these vaccines that are out there, you know, Texas now, they got rid of the face mask. So like little by little, I don't think they're arresting gym owners anymore in New Jersey, which is good. So little by little, I, I feel like we're, we're getting more normal. I think we're still a ways away, but provided that 2021 is nothing like 2020, what are your goals for this year and then beyond? Um, my goal for this year, um, personally, aiming for my pro card and once i get that i'm going to take some time off and, and build some good quality muscle and then hit the stage again um and you know really you know flourish and grow our business more and and just become more involved and influential in the fitness industry um you know that would be you know i don't know what you have yeah i mean i just you know um competitive wise i, I just bring my best package this year um you know, I'm really looking forward to this season um, more than any. Um, and then, yeah, building our business, 
we we really um, we go nonstop. I mean, we you know we're up at two thirty every morning. Um, you know, we're here at the gym training ourselves four a.m. and then we have clients start five a.m. Um, I still work a full time job and then I come right back to the gym to train clients again. Uh, so it's just go go go. You know, that's that's how we like to live our life. Um, so you know, really, you know, being more involved industry um you know is definitely a, a goal i think for both of us and it seems like every year we we kick it up another notch and so just keep building that and just you know keep getting our name out there and you know um just continuing to grow that's awesome that's awesome and for those of you out there when you're like like yawning and tr really trying to get out of bed at 6 a.m both of these guys have been up for four and a half hours so that's just something to think about but uh i've noticed that the folks that like michael hearn you know michael hearn every day is at gold's uh, gold's venice at 4 a.m so you figure he's probably gotta wake up at three and it's not so much just about waking up early but it's just being that productive like you working a full-time job then going back and working again although i think probably the work at the gym well, I'm sure it's very tiring and it's real work. It probably doesn't feel like it sometimes. I feel like you guys are probably like just, I don't know, so like running on passion and adrenaline and, and it's just good. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's really why we do this. Yeah. Um, you know, like it's been, a, it's been a topic of discussion now for, for a while with us because, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, have made comments about things that we do and how we run our business. But, you know, um, you know, we do this because we love it. Yeah. Um, we love our clients. Um, you know, our philosophy has always been, you know, fitness should be affordable for everybody. Um, so, you know, we do, you know, we've been criticized for keeping our prices lower than most, you know, personal trainers and stuff like that. But, you know, it's honestly just because we love our clients, we love to see people's transformations. Yeah. Um, you know, so, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, really drives us to be here every day. And like you said, it's not, you know, when after, you know, a 16 hour day, we're not tired when we're training clients because it's not, it's not fun. Yeah. Um, our clients are our family. Uh, we love them more than anything. Um, it's, it's why we do what we do. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm here at the gym. I actually quit my full-time job. I was actually teaching Pilates in Center City um, prior to COVID and I, and I love my job. Um, but I, you know, the goal was always to branch out and do my own thing. And when COVID hit, I got laid off and I made the decision to just to quit and to just, just focus most of my time with our personal training business. And I remember at one point telling Larry, like, I don't think my schedule is going to fill up. And now, you know, I'm having days where like, I'm trying to squeeze people in. So it's a great, great problem to have. And I, and I absolutely love it. But you, like you said, I, when I'm here, I don't feel like I'm working. I'm literally just I feel like I'm bugging out at the gym, you know, chilling. You know, and it's really nice. You know, it is really nice. And, and you know, like Larry said, you know, our clients are everything to us. We've had people follow us around for years. And to be honest with you, loyalty is just is just everything to us. And I think I think people also like what Larry was saying, how, you know, he views uh, y'all's, y'all's, y'all, I say y'all, I'm in Kentucky, but, but you guys as uh, personal training clients, as family, they can sense that as well. I think that you know, whether you're dealing with folks that compete or lifestyle clients, which will never compete, but want to be in shape, yeah. they can tell the fakers yep. real fast. They can tell the real people from the fakers, from the, you know, the wannabes, the people that are in it just to make a quick buck and then they're gone. They, they, they have an amazing way to distinguish people, I think, especially if you've had, you know, multiple personal trainers, you learn real quick. And so I think that that, that familial vibe, you know, you know, they pick up on that immediately. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, that's, that's why we fell in love with Blackstone. Um, you know, it's a family, yeah. you know what I mean? And it, it, you know, being, you know, going down, visiting for the first time last year, you know, down at headquarters, you know, I mean, we felt like part of the family instantly. And, um, you know, that's, you know, we had, uh, you know, during COVID it up with a juice bar and opened up our own gym at the time. And that's how we met Sammy was we were actually, um, you know, selling Blackstone Labs products at our gym. Um, you know, and Sammy just became, you know, like part of the family and, you know, everyone at Blackstone Labs. Just became and, super, super helpful and eventually became a tool for Larry. That's actually how they, because Larry was experimenting with the idea of, of competing and we did our own prep for the longest time. And he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to um, ask at first. And I was like, no, like I pushed him to do it because I, I just sensed that Sammy was going to be able to be like a really good leg up. In, in helping him get to that next level. Mm -hmm. 
you know. It was awesome. Yeah. Visiting in the last weekend was, you can tell, so like you can tell when you follow your influencers and certain Legion members and people that are that are working at headquarters, like how like how tight they are. And it was really, really cool to actually experience it. Went down to Boca and help. You know, PJ has such a fucking solid team. Like no hands down, really solid team. Definitely, definitely. And I'm I've got all my fingers crossed for a uh, Braun Army meetup in twenty twenty one. Yeah. A strong yeah, feeling that will happen. Yeah. 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 I was at the one at Flex Appeal. I think it's the only one actually. And, you know, it was just like an undeniable camaraderie. And there were people there that were from across the country, out of the country. This was right before COVID, February, actually the month right before. And it was, it was just, it was everything that, you know, uh, and I miss them, but he's very busy and they'll come back with PJ's lives. Yeah. You know, those lives, I mean, like if you look at the chat, like there's like a million different conversations going on there in addition to him talking and, 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 and opening up. And you don't, I mean, again, I don't know of any CEO president of a company of this size that does that, you know, on a routine basis and really, truly cares. I mean, really, really, truly cares. So again, kudos yeah. to PJ. You know, I mean, even, you know, he, he remembered beating him at the Arnold's. In yeah. I mean, you know, it was just something that we, you know, been out there, stop by the booth because we had used their products yeah. and, you know, remembered meeting us and, you know, had always every time you, know, you reach out to him for, with a question, always responds back to you. Yeah. Um, you know, but like she said, like being out there this past weekend and just, you know, being around and seeing how much they really care about, you know, their customers and everything like that is just, you know, you, you don't find a company, yeah. you know what I mean? You, and, you know, like you said about the Braun Army, I mean, Derek's a perfect example. Derek went out to the Braun Army and now look at him. He's working for Blackstone and moving his way up the company and, yeah. You know, I mean, he, he's a perfect example of what Blackstone is all about. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. He's killing it. He's absolutely killing it. And I think, you know, the same way that you love the family Bible Blackstone is what you guys are doing with your clients. And I think they probably love it as well. And it's, it, I can't think of a better way to promote Blackstone than what you're doing. And you don't even have to, like, like actually tell them about the company. Like, them seeing you guys with Blackstone and them getting, you know, the training that you provide, it's just like, it's, it's, it's like, it's all – it just it all automatically fits it's just it's just perfect the domino effect you know yeah definitely i mean we've had we have clients that you know like since they since they know that a part of the legion you know like i you know i never push a product that i don't believe in okay and before i even before it took me a very long time to figure out if i wanted to join the legion so i actually took like a, almost like a year to use blackstone products and then when i you know i used Blackstone for a full prep, I was like, you know, yes, I'm going to join the Legion. This is, these are really great products. They benefit, they benefit our clients, you know? Definitely. Definitely. And that, and that's also like very persuasive as well. If somebody asks you, what does X product do? And you've taken X product and you've seen the results that there's, there's just nothing more convincing than that. You know what I mean? And so, and, and I, that's one thing that I really like about you know, like the, the ironclad crew that you said PJ has, and he does have them, and I've seen him, and Sammy was one of them. You know, I see Derek doing it. I see Christopher Luke doing it. They really know inside and out each product because they've used them. That's just, that's gold. Oh, yeah. It's, no and it's, it's the customer side of things, too. Like, you know, I mean, like, um, you know, now that, you know, we've, we've moved on to another gym. We actually outgrew our other gym, and we're at a bigger facility now. Um, but, you know, back when we were selling our products, obviously our clients were buying them off of us, but – you know, now we work with Derek. He's our wholesale rep. Um, you know, so like, you know, just giving his number to a client and then he takes care of it. Yeah. Like we don't, we don't have to do anything. You know, people love the fact that they can actually reach out, text the person. And next thing you know, their order arrives at their door in three days. You know what I mean? Like you don't get that kind of service. Else. No. And, that, and that's actually something that Jared uh, touched upon in a conversation we had recently is that that customer service, you know, is, is being able to pick up a phone and talk to a human being, but not just a human being, a human being that actually cares, that actually knows the company, that'll be a problem solver. You know, even on the, the Blackstone Labs uh, uh, Facebook group, there was a couple of people that had questions about the, uh, the subscription, you know, and David was right there immediately, vice president of the company answering questions, like right there. Like there's no, like, you know, president will answer, the vice president. I mean, everybody will answer. That's, that's really big. I mean, nobody is too big. Nobody's too high up to you know perform good customer service and i think that truly i i think is why blackstone is so successful absolutely definitely i i truly think um and, and at least for me as somebody that is you know just starting out i think for me 
you know, I'm all about perspective. And, and, I, and like you said, you know, having, you know, P, PJ, the president actually personally like reaching out and being very interactive with their, with their community is, is a lot of why Back with Blackstone for as long as I, because it's that I think that it travels down to our um, our clients as well because they like that. I can just be like, oh, listen, you know, this is his number. This is who you want to call. You know, what I mean, he'll take care of it. personal. You know, time really allows people to be like, okay, I trust. I trust this. You know, definitely, definitely. Well, I want to thank you guys very, very much, both of you. And I, I hope we can meet at some point and I hope we can do this again. Cause technically like there's two of you, so we can do it again. Cause uh, you know, even if there wasn't, I have like this thing called catching up. It's going to be like a second round and I would love to do it like towards the end of the year and see what you guys accomplish. Cause I really think, you know, Vanessa, I think would figure you're going to do real, real well. And I, I'd love to see Larry and bodybuilding. You're both actually moving up divisions, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so uh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see what you guys do with your personal training business. Maybe you guys will clone each other so you can have even more clients. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even more. Go to Colombia and get some themselves. But yeah, but, but yeah, but I really do appreciate it very, very much. Oh, that's the opportunity. Great. Of course, of course. I'm going to chop this up tonight and do some reels. But uh, thank you very, very much. And good luck with everything. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you. Awesome. For... Larry Dubin, is that how you say it, Dubin? That's it, yep. Perfect. For Larry Dubin, Vanessa Hernandez, Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Thanks, guys.